sense to be I need to regenerate I'm about to go off like I'm the avatar state and I can say So it's done it took a while, but it's done and I'm not sure why people are surprised because I mean there really was nothing stopping this. It was announced that Sony would be buying Crunchyroll from AT&T, making Warner Brothers give up the service so Sony could put their company Funimation in charge of their main competitor. And I mean main competitor, like seriously, no one else really compares. I mean, Anime Lab was getting there, but Funimation has control of that app now in many areas. But that was announced quite some time ago, and if Disney was allowed to purchase Fox, it was just so obvious that Monopoly laws wouldn't stop Sony from getting Crunchyroll. Now, Sony originally announced that they would put Funimation's higher-ups in control of really the fate of Crunchyroll after Sony owned it, and now they do. So, Funimation tweeted yesterday saying, Yay for anime! Funimation and Crunchyroll are one company today. Now we can start the crazy fun working of bringing our worlds together. Now, I'm going to let you know as as far as we know right now what this actually means there's a lot of people saying things that are just not true about this first I've seen people saying how this is a good thing because now older anime on Crunchyroll will get dubs but uh no that's not something that is likely to happen old anime that has no dub will most likely remain with no dub. Funimation didn't get Crunchyroll simply to dub old anime. I doubt that's even an idea in their heads right now. Unless an old anime on there currently has many new viewers and is then deemed more profitable to bring in traffic, then maybe? Plus, Crunchyroll owns licensing rights to be able to have all of those anime on their platform. That's different from dubbing rights. Funimation can't get dubbing rights for an anime on Crunchyroll by buying Crunchyroll if Crunchyroll doesn't even have the dubbing rights. I'm going to read you a part of the press release for this whole thing that gives us basically insight into what the plans are and then explain to you what this most likely really means going forward. Crunchyroll adds tremendous value to Sony's existing anime business, including Funimation and our traffic partners at Aniplex and Sony Music Entertainment Japan, said Tony Vincent Guetta, chairman and CEO of Sony Pictures Entertainment Incorporated. With Crunchyroll and Funimation, we are committed to creating the ultimate anime experience for fans and presenting a unique opportunity for our key partners, publishers, and the immensely talented creators to continue to deliver their masterful content to audiences around the world. With the addition of Crunchyroll, we have an unprecedented opportunity to serve anime fans like never before and deliver the anime experience across any platform they choose, from theatrical events, home entertainment, games, streaming, linear TV, everywhere and every way fans want to experience their anime. Our goal is to create a unified anime subscription experience as soon as possible yeah so i know that was a mouthful and i'm not sure if you understood that but in basic english what has been suspected as a major possibility on the channel throughout this whole time waiting for the purchase to be approved is actually happening sony is in the midst of planning to no longer have crunchyroll and funimation be their own apps or services that time is coming to an end. The Crunchyroll and Funimation apps we know will soon no longer exist. Instead, it looks like by the sound of this that we will have one singular app. Now, what we don't know is what the name of this new app will be, or if they'll simply keep the name Funimation for its app and just make Crunchyroll's name stop existing. We also don't know what will happen to the Crunchyroll app Verve, spelled V-R-V, which features several different services for anime on it like High Dive. Funimation was once part of it until Sony bought it, but now will Verve be the singular service or will Funimation be added back 
or will the new app that replaces the current two be added to Verve or will Verve just stop existing also? Those questions we don't have answers for. We also don't know what will happen to the Crunchyroll original anime and if Funimation cares to pay for original anime on their platform. Since they have never actually created their own anime, they may stop Crunchyroll from doing so in order to save money. But I want to thank you guys for watching today's video and I would appreciate it if you guys left a like before you go. My name's Konchik, I love you and I'll talk to you later. And I can say that I'm great, yeah I can say that I'm perfect I ain't the one that was out here saving lives I was purchased Now we about to take you out if you try to act toxic I'ma send you straight up to my main man Conjit Conjit, Conjit